I'm going to be doing a full installation of the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Keep watching our video, we'll show you just how I do that. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com. Want to thank you for coming by to watch this video. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video and a full installation of the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. And that's it right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start, begin by opening it up to check out the components, what we're gonna be working with today. Okay, so, there we go. The box opens up like so. And of course, this is your uh, template to mount the Ring Doorbell Pro. Of course, we got our manuals, self-leveling tool. Let's see what we got here. So this is the Doorbell Pro itself, brand new. Put that aside. And you have a little, uh, comes with a little bit of uh, you know, I mean, a little bit of tools that you uh, you may require. Also comes with different casing if you want to choose a different color. So standard is uh, silver. So we also have black. We've got like, a, I guess like a brownish grayish color and of course a white color if you want to switch up the casing to match your exterior of your house. Uh, another important component in here is going to be your uh, hardware. And we'll just open that and you'll see what we have to do with that later on. And here you'll find, um, you'll see your wiring, which you're going to have to open up your existing uh, doorbell and uh, do some wiring back there, but we'll show you exactly how to do that. And of course we got our uh, screws and hardware. Also want to mention in this video that I'm actually gonna be doing for you guys, uh, I'm doing a full installation, um, which that, uh, consists of is also changing the transformer. Now I've watched a lot of videos and been reading a lot of stuff in the forums, which is great. There's great videos out there, but I find there's a lot of videos out there where people are doing installations with incorrect transformers. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I've read uh, where people have done the installation and a couple weeks later their doorbell uh, doesn't work anymore. Um, improper voltage. So I only want to do it the right way and I'm trying to make this video so that you guys don't have to go through the troubles that maybe some other people have been having. Um, so one of the power issues with this product is an improper transformer. So I don't want to get too much elaborate into it. I'm just going to tell you. So most people that have older houses such as myself, houses that were before 19 and 1995, there's maybe only 20% of you that will have the correct transformer. That leaves 80% of you actually need to change your transformer. So that's this guy right here. And Ring actually uh, recommends and uh, tells you that you have to use a transformer that's 16 to 24 volts with a 30 voltage amp uh, rating minimum. So this, what we're gonna be using today is a 24 volt transformer with a 40 voltage amp, which is very sufficient and actually would be recommended um, by Ring to actually use for installation. So uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to get started with the installation. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the transformer. So I'm gonna uh, take you downstairs where my transformer is located and I'll get into that uh, on the next step right now. Okay guys, so we're just in the basement where my doorbell transformer is located. So if this applies to you where you have to change your transformer, just take note that the transformer usually is located in a few different spots, either in a basement off of a fixture or off of uh, onto um, some sort of a joist, or it'll be behind the actual doorbell itself or close to the doorbell if it's not in the basement or near a furnace or somewhere where it's gonna collect the power from. So this is a, a very old transformer and it's uh, only running um, hardly any volts. It wouldn't even power the, uh, the doorbell. It's about uh, 
actually it's just 12 volts so it's not good enough I have to change it out so I have my Edwards uh, 24 volt transformer so also just take note there's another transformer which I've seen used in many different videos so although this is a 24 um, volt transformer you can actually it's a try one you can actually pick your voltage it only has 20 voltage amps so it may work but you may run into some issues I've also read some people on the forum where they've used uh, this type of transformer and they have had no luck uh, powering up their uh, ring doorbell pro so we're not going to be using that um, just also it's a little harder for us in Canada to obtain these transformers I've also noticed on Home Depot.com uh, for the people that live in the US it's very easily available right off the counter um, unfortunately for us in uh, Toronto Canada where I'm from I can't uh, pick that up at Home Depot so I had to go to a specialty electrical shop to find this or you can go on uh, Amazon as well so the first thing before we touch any power it's very important to know if you're not comfortable doing this type of work it's strongly advised that you use a licensed electrician to do your wiring for you especially if you're not comfortable to do so but the first step you must do is you must disconnect the power we're going to do that at the breaker panel to make sure that there is no power at this light which is also supplying the uh, transformer once that's uh, safe to touch then we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, installation okay so we're just at the breaker panel now we have a, a little bit of a label some most of them should have a label if they don't then you're gonna have to do trial and error and start uh, flicking some of the breakers just be careful to make sure that uh, your computers and stuff are all uh, backed up and stored anyhow so this actually corresponds number 23 is the basement I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power like so and uh, we're ready to begin okay so we're back at the uh fixture with the transformer we've got our work light so that we can see and um, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking off the uh, light uh, mount so that I can gain access to the uh, screws and stuff like that where the transformer is on okay so we've got that out of the way we're going to disconnect the leads to the doorbell box upstairs and uh, I know it's probably hard for you to see it's just two wires with uh, screws on each side just one here we got one more here okay like so this one right here which is off of the light they're just using a I'm going to take this off. This is for the wire of the transformer. Okay. And then our power wire here is actually wired into here. Okay, so here we're just going to try to loosen the nut on the inside. Okay. Just like that so this transformer that I'm going to be installing actually uh, isn't a fixture mount so I'm gonna go ahead I have to affix this somewhere where it's safe and screw it into the joist to make sure it's uh, supported and then I'm gonna run the wires uh, to the box okay so I've selected my location where I'm gonna install the transformer I'm just gonna rest it a little bit on top of this box I'm going to put it right there where I still have access to run these wires and the doorbell uh, leads can actually still uh, connect. So I'm just going to use my drill. I'm going to screw it to the joist and hopefully that'll stay in place. So now that the uh, transformer is secure, the green wire on the transformer is going to be grounded so you won't be able to see very much in the video but there's a screw with the copper wire um, which is the ground I'm just going to screw this to the body of the frame so that the transformer is grounded we'll pull the casing off the wire so now on this transformer there's two black wires 
One is going to go to your power, so it'll be your black wire. The other is going to go to your common or neutral wire, which is your white. It doesn't matter which wire goes where. Um, that's just how the transformers are designed. All it wants is power from one end and neutral common from the other. So we're just going to go ahead and feed the wires through. Okay. Like so. Okay, so we just uh, put the two screws back for the light fixture, uh, transformer secure, wiring is all done. So the only thing I have to do is just hook up the leads for the doorbell. So again, this doesn't matter what where it goes, I just have to unscrew and put the uh, wires in. One. There we go guys, and that's it for the transformer installation. Okay, so the next step, we're going to take the cover off the doorbell and uh, expose what's behind here and what you're going to use is you're going to use the uh, pro power kit that came with your uh, ring doorbell pro and we're going to begin hooking up the uh, the wires here it's very simple there's only two wires it comes with these uh, clips you just have to take off the corresponding wire uh, to um, uh, insert them into the clips and it's a really easy install so we'll just use the uh, tool that came with the kit and uh, the wires are actually marked. You can see there's um, front and another trans. So you can see here. So this we're actually going to put onto this wire. I know that this side goes to the front uh, doorbell. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this lead off. Okay, so once you remove that, you're going to insert that into the clip here. So you'll see that there's a spot. So this is here and there's the empty hole. We're gonna insert that in there and press down. And you just double check to make sure that it's uh, in and it is. So this wire is now gonna go back onto the connection. And we're just gonna screw that in. Oops. Okay, like so. And now the next one is this wire here. This is just coming from the transformer, so we're not gonna touch this uh, wire. That's a, a direct lead to the other end of the button. So this is the lead to the transformer. And the same thing, we're going to insert this into here. Press down, and this wire now goes back to the transformer connection. This is a really old doorbell that I'm actually using here, so it may not exactly look like the one that you're using at home. Most of them have three pins or three connections. Um, so basically it's the same thing, except you're not seeing this. Uh, these are usually connected and then you'll have the, uh, the points there for front, rear, and transformer. Okay, so now on the back of this module here, there's some 3M tape. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it inside where it's out of the way. It's not really uh, in the way of anything. Okay, so that's it, it's, uh, it's hooked up. Just gotta put the cover back on. Just make sure all the wires are tucked away. Okay, so we're just outside the door where we're gonna be installing the uh, Ring Video Doorbell Pro. So in my particular installation, it's gonna be a little bit of tricky for me. Uh, the existing doorbell now is kind of hiding behind this brick wall. 
and this doesn't really fit so and if I even put a block of wood or something to bring it out it just might be in the way and I won't really get the full view of what's going on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through the brick so that it comes out on this side right here and then I'm just going to fill that in with silicone and stuff. So I'm actually going to essentially be putting the wire through the brick so that it has a nice clean install at the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the existing doorbell off to access the wires. Just got one screw here. Okay, and there we go. And there we have our leads. Okay, so I've just got my uh, masonry bit. Uh, I've got my um, Makita uh, hammer drill, a uh, drill that I'm gonna use in the hammer mode. And I'm just gonna actually, I'm just gonna go through this, uh, the tuck point, the motor here, so that I can feed the wires through around this point here. I'm not worried about what's going on this side. I just want a nice clean install for the face here. So I'm gonna start drilling here so that I can get through the other side so I can feed the wires through. Okay, look at that. Perfect. So now I'm just going to feed the wires through. Okay. Okay. Almost. Okay, so I've fed the wires through the mortar of the brick. And now I'm just using the installation template, which comes with your kit, to just figure out where I'm actually gonna drill the two mounting screws where it's going to secure the actual uh, ring doorbell from. So um, what I'm doing is just lining it up. I just cut a little hole here where the wires are supposed to go. And uh, I'm just kind of measuring where, where I want this to go. And this is a good spot here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mark out, in this, this case I'm just going to put a little drill through the holes where I'm going to be drilling and then uh, continue drilling uh, from there. just want to leave a mark for now. Okay, so I have my marks, I can remove this and then I can begin drilling so that I can put the uh, mounting screws in. Okay, so I've just finished pre-drilling the holes for the mounting screws and you've noticed that that wasn't uh, the bit that came with the kit. That was a little bit smaller. I find it a little easier when you work with a smaller bit. So now I'm going to use the bit that came with the kit and I'm going to drill the proper size holes um, into the existing holes I just drilled. Uh, drilled. Next thing I'm going to put the plugs for the mounting screws to go in. So I'm just going to push the plugs into the wall and make sure they're nice and snug. Okay. So just using a Phillips screwdriver just to help me out a little bit. Okay, and that's nice and secure. Okay, so I got my Ring Doorbell Pro uh, in my hand here. So the only thing I have to do now is just connect it to the terminals on the back. And uh, I'm gonna put these two wires on these two uh, terminals there, screw them in before mounting the uh, mounting screws in. Okay, so we've attached the terminals to the back of the 
Ring Doorbell Pro. So now we're just going to uh, install the mounting screws using the uh, tool that was provided. So we're just going to line this up to the okay to the holes like so. Just screw it in. Okay, so now it's secure. We're going to remove the film that's on the uh, button and the lenses. Okay, another film there. Okay, the film's removed. And then whatever desired cover you want to use, in my particular case, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the gray and uh, just uh, securely mount that. It's not going anywhere. Actually, just one more thing to do so that I put the cover on. The kit also comes with a security screw and uh, it's on the other side of this Phillips uh, screwdriver. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that screw in there. There's a screw at the bottom that's going to secure the cover and gain, um, stop anybody from gaining access uh, inside. Like so. Okay, so what we've done, we've finished all the installation. This is now installed. We've turned the power back on. And the next thing you do is you need to go through the app and you need to set up. So you're just gonna go to the app and you're gonna go set up a new device. So once you click that, go through the process and then this will be, uh, this will be ready to, um, to uh, tweak and to update your motion zone alerts and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and uh, try this out and let's make sure that uh, this works. Okay. So there we go. We've got this ringing. We've got our ring chime Wi-Fi extender going and it also activates the doorbell. And I can open it up here on my app. And there you go. You can see us. Okay guys, that's it. That's it for the install. I was just going to put a little bit of uh, caulking to cover up the hole and uh, the wires that I drilled through the uh, brick. And that's it. Just go through the setup process. Uh, you can tweak it to your desired liking, your motion zones, your alerts. It's really simple. Just go through the app and then uh, it'll take you through that. So I just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to check out our other videos where I've installed the floodlight cam. I've also installed the Wi-Fi extender. You can check that out as well. And you can see that in the links as well. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our video, like our video, and leave a comment. Let me know if this uh, video helped you out or if you have any other video ideas or if you have any information, please leave it in the comment section below. Until then, we'll see you next time from jefflepard.com.